Welcome guys to another episode of Boom Arena. Today we're gonna be playing with some general psycho, general control, however you wanna call it. Either way, it's the deck that I was maining for a long time in Boom Arena, so I decided to just play it today. And yeah, my opponent will be starting with some aggressive drunker and then responding with Thief and Ghost to my general. So, so far so good, I guess. The start is absolutely fabulous for us. Here I'm gonna actually go for a greedy route, trying to defend all of that with just 5 mana. Usually I would play a ghost against this, uh, actually 6 mana if you include the cost uh, of the heal tiny, because apparently I needed it as well. So we're gonna actually play Fonz to just kite it back and over. And I kinda hope that it's gonna be enough to clean up. He spends a 12 mana, so I kinda was forced to play a flying bomb here. If I was uh, trying to not get like a, a an additional hit. That was actually a missed, uh, missed footman kick, so that's kinda on me. Right now my opponent will be just trying to break me with uh, any means possible. So far he is very unsus unsuccessful with it. Obviously getting one hit here and there won't change the fact that he already got a free massive hits from the general at the start of the game. Probably was kinda hoping that it would it didn't happen. Uh, because obviously he has Viking against General and that's exactly what you have to do. If you're behind, go for the base trade and basically hope for the best. But at the same time by playing Viking in the back, he just opened the doors for my general to take his tower and that's gonna be pretty much the finishing blow to his position I guess. I'm gonna play a flying bomb once again on his forces because these devils are absolutely putting in work. So I'm gonna play heal tiny actually, try to get a bit of... okay. So actually heal tiny doesn't give this enough damage to clarify the twins, that's good to know, obviously I didn't try this interaction uh, ever, so it was kind of experimental right here. I'm gonna set up Drunker on the opposite side so he doesn't know whether I'm gonna hit him from right, left, and in this case I'm gonna actually hit him from the center because I don't think there's a better way to put it. My opponent is actually not responding to my push which is pretty worrying for him because he's gonna just drop the tower and the uh, viking tower. So it is gonna be very uh, easy first win. Let's jump to the game number two. Next game will be against opponent called Brainrot with 30 mils. Obviously we're gonna throw a nice play. Uh, wait for a few seconds and after that drop a super devil in the back to set up some potential push uh, at the bridge later on. He's gonna actually play a bone blasters uh, against which I can very easily react with fonts. And then I'm gonna just drop a general on the bridge, generate some kind of attack. All this good stuff. General would be actually sufficient to take uh, the can out by himself. And this super devil will absolutely wreck this swordsman, so this general get uh, can get like one more hit, which is absolutely perfect. I'm gonna actually play a can. I thought uh, about like kiting the mortar with the drunker, but like to be honest, I don't have any reason to like hold myself back. I'm gonna just play super devil. Uh, once again in the back and uh, see what my opponent wants to do with that. I'm gonna actually set up a drunker this time because it's gonna be just uh, way heavier of an attack. Uh, and my opponent set, sets up a bomb skeleton on the opposite side which is definitely not a play. I'm gonna actually try to get a heal tiny to heal my forces and it's gonna be it I think. This can should be enough to clean up the uh, bomb skeleton and if it isn't uh, somehow, some way, I'm gonna be able to always sky this. Although, like two bone blasters, obviously connect. I don't really mind that because look at the damage I'm getting on the Viking Tower. It's definitely not something he should like uh, sack. Uh, if you sack, you basically uh, are trying to get a counter push on the uh, opposite side and try to basically base trade your opponent. But like bone blasters are absolutely not made to base trade. If anything, I think my opponent should be like keeping the center closed, trying to repel my forces, actually focusing on defense and 
Uh, only if I were to be too aggressive, he should be like sending bone blasters so he can split my forces. But yeah, I believe that was uh, too advanced for him and we take another dub. Let's jump to the game number three. And the next game will be against Kick who has 633 medals, which I believe is pretty low amount for him. Usually he scores uh, the ends of the season a bit higher. I'm gonna actually play false against this ghost because honestly why not? He's gonna get a very good helicopter and I frankly cannot do like much about it. I'm gonna play heal tiny to just try to shut it down as much as it's physically possible. Then he's gonna be playing twins against which I'm gonna just play cannon and he's going aggressive. Which obviously is not good. Uh, Especially that now he forces me to play Fonz. I would love to play Heal Tiny, but I wasn't. So now we'll have to just deal with the Super uh, Viking. With the Super Devil, that's what I meant to say. He's gonna play Piercing Archer, which unfortunately for my opponent won't be able to cheat it away. Uh, so I'm gonna get an absolute counter against uh, all his push, and I reckon he should be getting a lot of damage, but was just. Uh, not close enough, this piercing archer didn't align and luckily for me I'm still maintaining a very healthy advantage. I'm gonna play general in the back because why not honestly. I'm gonna make him cycle to another viking and basically... Okay, he's getting a very very aggressive right now so he's gonna probably, yeah, he's gonna clean up this, uh, this drunker. Which means like I won't have any support uh, troops, but yeah, there, there we go. He's gonna actually play another Viking to clean up this general. I think I'm gonna still get a one hit. Uh, I don't think I did. So that was unfortunate. Obviously, right now his Viking is uh, nearing close my tower uh, very swiftly. I'm gonna have to actually play my Fonz, which I'm not very comfortable with because Right now pretty much he can uh, start uh, spamming my forces once again. I'm gonna play Drunker here, because honestly why not, he has a Viking out of hand, so I'm gonna just play General, play Super Devil, basically force him to uh, play very uncomfy uh, responses. And I was actually trying to play a Footman Kick, and actually I'm gonna get a very, very good system to defend uh, all of the incoming push. I'm gonna play actually Fonz here. Uh, these twins, yeah, they they definitely should be uh, heading to my uh, cannon. I'm gonna play Super Devil on this uh, helicopter because it's just annoying. This ghost will get one hit, but I pretty much cannot do anything about it. Like, I could block it with phones, but I would rather just uh, save it for the... Uh, for the more complicated defense. I'm gonna play Heal Tiny here, I'm gonna play Fonz, pretty much extend the kite of his Viking, and right now that his Viking is out of cycle, I'm gonna just play General, and there's pretty much nothing he can do. Uh, I'm gonna send GG's because it was very well done, and my opponent will um, Rage Quit, which is, well... Is this a play in this position? But I don't think it was the play leading to the victory. In fact, his possession was already over. GG's nice play. Let's jump to the game number 4. And in another game we're gonna be facing Kenji with 6 medals, throwing a steel hammer and rolling steel at the bridge, which is rather very aggressive move. Probably the plan for this game will be actually to throw a general at the bridge as well, because frankly I don't see a reason why I shouldn't. I'm gonna throw a flying bomb as well, just to eliminate the uh, devils from this mother devil and apparently I didn't eliminate them quite much because she just spawned another devil right before I played a flying bomb, so pretty much a mistime on my part, but it shouldn't really matter in the grand scheme of things, since uh, this general would have been cleaned up anyway, it would have been like gotten one more hit for me or something, doesn't really matter like I've said before. Also, he overcommitted at the uh, first place, so it wasn't like I was behind in mana. He now will be throwing a missile, which misses the tower, and that's definitely bad, so I'm gonna just try to punish him with a general and drunker at the bridge. And this push actually should be bringing some solid damage to the table. I'm gonna play actually false, because why not, let's just whittle this Dark Knight down as much as it's physically possible, and there we go. We're gonna actually grab the tower because... maybe not. I'm gonna play Footman Keg just to 
threaten something else, because if he doesn't react, this tower is going down. And there we go, we first out another response. And after that, I think we can actually just set up another general and pretty much guarantee ourselves a tower, because I don't see why we shouldn't do it right now. And my opponent will actually resign, very quick resignations once again. Uh, we're just having very smooth games today. I think uh, let's cut it here and let's jump to the game number 5. And another game will be against Sigmar Whistler, who uh, will be having 30 mils, uh, plays, places some very aggressive ranged cards at the bridge, and I think I'm gonna just play a uh, general, because honestly why not, like I said. And this general should be doing a lot of damage, because uh, it looks like my opponent doesn't have a good response against it. That's why you play pretty much win conditions, because if your opponent doesn't have a good response against them, you're gonna just get a crap ton of value and uh, a lot of damage out of them, and that's the case in this game, my opponent goes very aggressively with support cards, I could have just played a flying bomb and called it a day, but I've decided like, I can just play a bit more troops at the bridge, which will facilitate my attack even more, I'm gonna play general uh, here as well. I'm gonna just take it, so yeah, I think we deserve one more game for this video, and that's what we're gonna do, stand by. And fortunately the last opponent will be actually re coming to the rescue for this video, we're gonna be facing against Oki, who, who is 2.4k player, so at least we've got uh, one decent player in this video. Going with some shield skeletons and a skeleton keg, very... I would say he's playing his uh, very bizarre lightning deck, which we'll have to be always cautious about, because uh, lightning can be very scary at points, if you don't expect it. Here I'm gonna actually leak a bit of, a bit of mana, and then kite him with a general. I don't want to play like Drunker preemptively in the back, because um, if I did so, uh, he could have just tried to punish my play at, in some way. I would love this Dark Knight dead, so I can just play Fonts and Cannon. He plays a Cyclone, which is absolutely useless against Fonts, and that's gonna be... I think we are actually in such a good position that if we were to have a General on hand, we could have played it just at the bridge and win. So let's just do this. There's the General, I mean there's a Drunker, there's the General, and now we're gonna just spam the Footman Keg, so we can just take this kill both shield skeletons, and this general should be getting a lot of damage, I would love to get, uh, actually I didn't get this heal tiny, it was kinda late, so it was kinda on me that I didn't play it earlier. Also this dark knight will get a connection on the tower, so that also sucks, he gets his damage back I would say, not the best place in my, in, on my part, so I believe I have to be more careful. In the future he gets his damage and we no longer have the uh, the same advantage. So right now I think we're gonna actually go for the same plan. We're gonna go for the general and then the drunker. He's gonna be playing Bomberman which is absolutely fabulous response. I'm gonna go for a footman tag. I'm gonna go for a cannon and fonts against this viking. Just to clarify the position I'm gonna go for a Super Devil to stop the Skeleton Keg because, frankly, it's very dangerous if you don't have a good response against it. I think I'm gonna actually go for the General. I reckon it's gonna like get one or uh, two hits, but it's gonna be uh, more than enough for me. I'm gonna actually... I would love to get the cannon quicker, but like I... Okay, that's gonna be a very tough push for me to defend. I'll have to kite a bit. This Dark Knight will jump. I'll have to kite a bit more, like you've seen, pretty sweaty defense, but I think we get away with it. I'm gonna actually play a very high cannon, so he cannot play a very high uh, phone hut. Uh, maybe he can actually, okay, he actually can play a very high phone hut, so that was unfortunate. I think at this point we're actually losing because he can just lightning cycle us uh, till the end of time, so we kinda actually have to like uh, generate some counterplay, although I don't 
Okay, if he lightnings, he loses here. And there we go. And right now I pretty much can just spam my way to the win because I don't see him stopping my general ever. And there we go. There's the general on the tower. I think, yeah, it's gonna get a hit and that's GG's. Even if it wasn't a hit, I think the Lightning Plus Cyclone wouldn't have been enough for him to finish the tower. So that was a very close game, but a very fitting to end this video since Oki obviously not playing too meta or sub or optimal deck, but uh, he makes its job done. And like you've seen, that was the most difficult game of today's video and we've still managed to come out on top. So yeah, thank you for watching till the end. If you enjoy my content and uh, not, you are not subscribed, consider doing so because I'm posting Book Arena content every single week, I mean every single day, and you definitely can learn something from my videos uh, to implement it to your own gameplay. So yeah, thanks again for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you aren't already. I'm gonna see you guys in the next episode of Boom Arena.